Pain at the pump. Gas prices at levels not seen in seven years as we roll into the holiday weekend. Joining me now, a person who has a view of the impact of rising fuel costs from not just refineries to the pump, but to grocery stores. United Refining Company Chairman and CEO, Gristides and D'Agostino Foods President, Chairman and CEO, and Red Apple Group Chairman and CEO, John Katsimatidis. John, what is driving these high gas prices and how much could they surge this summer? Well, it's an attack in America overall. Uh, the uh, pipeline started with the pipeline, then it started with the Keystone Pipeline, then it started with the Colonial Pipeline. Uh, the borders being open uh, through terrorists coming in and drugs coming in. It's an overall attack in America and the attack on the fossil fuel industry, on the oil business. America has a hundred years worth of oil. Why are we being pushed towards electric cars where 90 percent of the batteries are being made out of uh, China? Why do we, we close down the Keystone pipeline uh, and then we approve the pipeline from Russia to Germany. America loses on both parts, and China wins on the battery section, and Russia and OPEC nations win on the oil section. The attack on the, on the oil industry is causing uh, crude oil to go from $50 to $66, and I predict they be, it, it will go to $70 in the near future. And what happens? The price of gasoline goes up. When the price of gasoline goes up, everything delivered to the American public by truck or by any other ways is going to go up. Food prices are going to go up. Airline prices are going to go up. Uh, it, it, it's an artificial, it's an increase in cost to the American consumer. So what does that mean? That means, well, when you raise taxes on companies, when you raise the cost of fuel on companies, of course, they're going to raise the prices to the consumer. So, you know, the, 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 the politicians go around Washington and say, oh, we're going to tax the, we're going to tax the corporations, we're going to tax the oil companies, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Well, bottom line, the corporations are not stupid, they're going to raise their prices. And where do they raise the prices? Every poor American, every middle-class American is going to pay a higher price. So that's a, a, a hidden tax. Whether you want to call it a tax or, or whatever you want to call it, it's going to cost more, which is going to lead to inflation by the end of the year. I had predicted, I, I, I know I argued with, with uh, Larry Kudlow about it, that I think the annualized rate by September, October could be as high as 6%. I mean, it, it, it's, you keep raising the prices to corporations, you keep raising the ability to get uh, workers to work because of $300 of freebies that uh, uh, they're all getting, and it's going to cost. And the food prices, I see the food prices, we're also in the food business, we own Christine's right. in New York, uh, and the food prices are going up. And uh, it, 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 it's just... We got it. We're not tiptoeing through the tulips. We have to realize what's going on. I've said this all along. It went, uh, John, when Joe Biden said in the debate with President Trump, we're going to transition away from the oil industry. I said at that moment, you have to take him at his word, and it is economically devastating to the United States to really take a hatchet to our energy sector, our energy economy, because of the high-paying jobs, but because energy, fossil fuels in this country, they're cheap and plentiful. That's why we use them. It is a tax cut for average working folks in lower energy prices. But then also, it provides strength on the world stage, geopolitical strength. When we, nine presidents promised energy independence, we finally achieved it as the number one oil producer in the world under President Trump. We were the swing producer. The United States controlled the price of crude oil on, uh, on the global stage. That gave us power over Russia, over Iran, and even over China. And we, on day one, 
Joe Biden, by killing the Keystone Pipeline and then banning drilling on federal land, he has begun a reversal that will be devastating for a lifetime for Americans, the American worker it's, and it's anybody, an in anybody. On America. It's an attack on America. And uh, it, there's no other way to put it. We're being attacked from various sources. More fentanyl, more drugs are coming in from the southern border than ever before. We, we are dumbing down America where our education system is being attacked uh, and uh, the attack of the COVID virus. It's an attack. The Chinese never told, you know, they, they restricted the flights within their own country, right. but they kept going, the international I flights Kept going. I do want to ask you before we go, because um, owning Gristides and the D'Agostino food chains, I w I've seen it. I was, I'm going to sit here and say I was wrong. New York City is coming back. My, my apartment building has filled back up, and there are people moving here from San Francisco. There's three people who've moved into my building from San Francisco, and one of them made the comment that San Francisco is such a disaster that they wanted to move here. The rents got cheap enough. I said there was an ice cream truck in front of the building at 4 a.m. with a line of a dozen people out. Is New York back, John? New York is, New York is coming back. Our properties, uh, we own a lot of properties in Brooklyn. The outer boroughs are coming back much faster. Our properties in Brooklyn are now, you ready? 100% rented. And uh, that, and, and deep in the COVID, crisis, we were 20% vacancy rate. We're 100% rented. New York is coming back. I tried to get to Yankee Stadium last night, and guess what? The traffic was horrific. So now we have to take care of the crime situation in yep. New York. We took care. We beat the virus. Now it's time to beat the crime situation, and enough is enough with these progressive. They're not progressive. They are regressives. Yet it is part of the attack on America, and the American people have to realize it's part of an overall attack, whether it's the Chinese, mm -hmm. whether it's the Russians, whatever it is. It's an attack on America, raising prices, raising the cost to every middle class American. Every poor American has to pay yep. more for their transportation, John. has to pay more for their gasoline. John, great to see you. The traffic's bad because of the, all the restaurant shacks that are still outside. So I encourage people, if you're coming to New York, do not drive, you know, and get on one of those city bikes and ride it around because you're not going any, anywhere in a car in Manhattan, certainly. It's, uh, it's bad. It's, it's good bad, though, John. Great to see you. John Katzmatidis. God bless. God bless. Always have a terrific weekend.